Nick. <laughs> well, that was a feat of engineering. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye. Two <laughs> See what all this madness is about. The only thing I will ask you with this fellas, it's just, as you can see, it's just a tiny camera. Um, we're in between proper cameras, honestly. <laughs> Two years we've been in between. But anyway, so what I will ask of you lads is if you can just keep your, your voices nice and loud, I think, please, just to... Uh, If it's more comfortable to talk to me than talk to the camera, that's fine. I'm going to step out to about here, really. In fact, what I will do, guys, is I'll step out of here and then that way the camera's catching more handsome features. The glass is glass. Huh? change. Okay, guys, here we go. Are you ready? So, I'm here at Sig Carew with Ian Morrell here on the left and David Atkin. Guys, you're all here with a new plan. Not an exact scale replica, but in terms of the way it looks, you're here with an exact replica of the Puffing Billy, which was the Butlins train down at Filey. And you lads are on a, you're on a bit of a quest today, aren't you? Yeah, we're travelling down to Filey for tomorrow for the 30th anniversary of Butlins Club. And where have you come from this morning? We set off at South End, uh, which is in Durham. Uh, this is the first leg of the trip. See where it's fasting now. Next stop will be made. And where did you get this magnificent thing? Uh, we built it, uh, well, I built it over a year and a half. It started off as an aircraft tow uh, to the exact replica of Puffin Billy, which did work at Footlands Filey from, uh, we think, about 1962. Did you, did you have the original plans for the train, or did you have to come up with something a bit more ingenious? Well, I was lucky enough to have a photograph of Puffin Billy with me sitting in at the age of 10 and I actually uh, managed to scale it from the driver's uh, newspaper in his pocket which was the Sunday Sun, Sunday Post sorry and I worked out that it was actually 12 inches wide which gave me the scale for the trip. And David this brings back memories for you because you're wearing your Butlins red coat today but you are a real genuine former Butlins red coat. That's right yep. Yes, and I you was, worked uh, down in the Filey camp. I did, I worked in the Filey camp at did my bit there, and uh, so I saw Billy in the really. So this was a, an ideal opportunity when Ian asked me, he rang me up and uh, said, do you fancy uh, doing this trip? And straight away I said, yeah, not a problem at all. So it's, it's bringing back some memories. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be it's going to be a bittersweet uh, memories because we're going through what used to be the old camp. And uh, to go in in the red, so it's been four years since I wore the red and white. So it's going to be a bit of a tearjerker, but good time as well. Guys, that's only perfect. Thank you very much, fellas. Well, well, cheers. cheers. I hope you get your cup of coffee. So this lad might know where you can get a break this time in the morning. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Thank you very much, lads. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to wet you. Cut that bit out. <laughs> that's a good start I'm just to my day this at one. work, anyway. <laughs> I've got a wet bum. <laughs> Here they come. Arriving in Redke with 5,000 irate <laughs> motorists behind them. <laughs> oh, Mint.
Oh, we've, we've got to stop at the traffic light. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I would imagine one or three. Here they come. <laughs> oh my word! But that guy in the pink van's going. I wasn't turning right, but I'm going to him now. <laughs> It'll come out the other end. It'll be like a blooming drugs. <laughs> yeah, just tell him to keep going. I'm going to have to wait for a canny gap in the traffic, aren't I? <laughs> it's not fitted with a mobile phone holder, is Bill. I'll try and catch up with you. And this is the hill at Saltburn, which is a hairpin which comes all the way down there and then turns very abruptly. You can see how fast the, how the turn is, a hairpin turn, and then the same down there, and then behind the bungalow, and then out at the bottom. However, due to technical difficulties, as in I didn't actually press record, we missed Billy. Or was it just that he was going far too fast? Possibly. Our heroes arriving at our B and B for the night. They got here. Did they? <laughs> what are you doing to them? The poor old fella. This is Harry the dog. Hello, Harry.